Hey yeah, everybody, in this video I'm going to explain filtering in NumPy. Filtering refers to the process of selecting elements from an array that match a given condition. We're basically filtering out elements that don't match a condition. Here's an example. Let's pretend that we have two classes of students, two groups. I'll put them within a 2D array for this example. Let's name this array ages to store the ages of our students. Ages equals mp dot array and this will be a 2d array in this example we'll have two rows make up some ages 21 17 19 20 16 30 18 then we got one person that's 65 that's going back to school so let's pretend that this is a college class some students are still in high school but they're taking college classes and others are older, and they're returning to school. Now for my second group of students, let's say one student is 39, that's Bob, 22, 15, one person's 99, 18, 19, 20, 21, that's good enough. By using filtering, we can filter out some of this data and create a new array. By taking our original set of data, we can filter out elements that don't match a certain condition, then use the elements that do match to create a new array. Let's say we'll create a new array of all the teenagers. Find anybody that's under 18. I'll create a new array. We'll name it teenagers equals take our array, our original array, which we have named ages. Then here we'll write a condition. We'll create a new array where the elements match this condition. We'll say any ages that are less than 18. And then we can print it. Print our new array of teenagers. And it looks like we have three. Three students under 18. 17, 16, 15. This is Boolean indexing. Now pay attention to the shape. By using Boolean indexing, this will flatten your 2D array. It's now one dimensional. But there is a way to preserve the shape using the where function, but we'll get to that a little later in this video. This array of teenagers, it's a new array. By filtering out elements and creating a new array, we can preserve the original. We still have all the original students, the original ages of them. All right, now let's filter out anybody that's between 18 and 65. We will say these are adults. Adults equals take our original array, use the subscript operator, we'll write a condition. Return any ages that are greater than or equal to 18. Let's see what we have currently. We have a one dimensional array, but we still have people that are 65 or older. We have 65 and 99. Here we'll need to use a logical operator. So let's enclose our first condition within a set of parentheses. Now with Python, to use the and logical operator, you would write and. But since NumPy uses C style arrays, we have to use an ampersand. The ampersand is the C logical operator for and. Now we'll match a second condition. Return any ages greater than or equal to 18 and any ages that are less than 65. Then let's take a look. We should have nobody that's under 18. We have two 18s and nobody 65 or above. Doesn't look like there are any. Now you could use or, which is a straight vertical bar, but we would have to change these conditions. So we'll say if any ages are less than 18 or any ages are greater than or equal to 65, we would end up with an array of anybody below 18 or 65 or greater. So let's change that back. Those are logical operators. You can check more than one condition. We'll create a new array for seniors. Perhaps they get a senior discount. Seniors take our original array, use the subscript operator, check all the elements within our array of ages. Is their age greater than or equal to 65? and we should have two. Let's print our new array of seniors. We have two students 65 or above. 
Someone is 65 and another is 99. Let's find any ages that are even. I'll name this array even or evens. Take our array of ages, return any ages, use the modulus operator that gives you the remainder of any division. Modulus two. If we divide one of these values by two, if it's equal to zero, the remainder that is, put it within a new array of evens. Now we'll be given an array where all of the ages are even. 20, 16, 30, 18, 22, 18, 20. Or we can do odds. I'll name this new array odds. Ages modulus two does not equal zero. And then we'll print it, our new array of odds. We're now given an array where all of the elements are odd, not even. When filtering and creating a new array, if you need to preserve the original shape, there's a different function, the where function. Here's how it works. Let's create a new array of adults equals access numpy call the where function. We'll select anybody that's 18 or older, including seniors too. There's three arguments. The first is the condition. Return any elements within our array of ages that are greater than or equal to 18. Now the second argument is our array. And the third is a fill value. We want to preserve the original shape. If we're filtering out any elements that don't match the condition, we have some students that are under 18. We'll need to replace these values with something else. Let's put zero. Some people use negative one, some people also use NP, not a number, but we'll just stick with the zero to keep it simple. And then we will print our new array of adults, and it should retain the original shape. We have a 2D array, two rows, and let's see how many columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a two by eight shape. Any elements that don't match the condition are replaced with our fill value which we set to be zero. But if I set this to be negative one, well then the fill value is negative one, but we'll keep that as zero. The where function will keep the original shape of your array, but it's a lot slower than using Boolean indexing, which we have just discussed previously. I would only use the where clause if you need to preserve the original shape of your data, in this case, a two by eight. Otherwise, Boolean indexing will flatten your data when creating a new array. All right, everybody, that is filtering. It refers to the process of selecting elements from an array that match a given condition. I couldn't think of any homework for you to do, so why don't you post your favorite book to read in the comment section down below. And well, everybody, that is filtering in NumPy.